Hello everyone, this is Piggy Bank. ARMS has been out for a while, but with Min Min coming to Smash, many people are becoming interested in ARMS. If you're one of those people, this is the perfect guide for you. Do you have what it takes to take on the veteran players? You can punch with either the left or the right hand. You can grab by punching with the left and the right at the same time. You can dash, jump, or even air dash. Dashing and jumping has a long version and a short version, based on how quickly you let go of the button. You can block incoming punches, but you cannot block grabs. Pressing the dash button while blocking an attack allows you to quickly move forward or backwards and potentially set up for a counter attack. You can't block punches forever, however, and your shield will eventually break. Your shield recovers after some time. You can punch through grabs and potentially hit them first. Punches can be charged from holding the dash button, holding the jump button, holding the shield, or landing from a jump without punching. You can maintain a charge longer the longer you charge not counting charging with the shield or landing from a jump. Charge punches are stronger in some way depending on the arm. The arm might get faster, do more damage, add an element to the punch, or maybe even get bigger. Charge grabs will still benefit from the speed boost of the arms you're using, if any. Ramen. Rush is a special move that lets you dish out some serious damage. Rushing also gives you a brief invincibility upon activating it, making it useful for both offense and defense. You can charge rush by punching, grabbing, charging your arms, landing a hit, getting hit, or blocking a punch. The fastest way to charge rush is punching and landing hits. If you were punching or grabbing before rushing, you will cancel that attack and bring your arms back to you. You can use this for combos, defense, or baits. Arms! 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 There are many classes of arms in the game, each unique with size, attributes, speed, attack paths, homing, and weight. We'll go over the details of the arms at another time, but let's go over the three different weight classes, light, medium, and heavy. Arms of the same weight class can collide with each other and cancel each other out. If your arm weight is heavier than the opponent's, then your punch will go right through theirs. Rushing will upgrade your arm's weight by 1. Light arms will become medium weight, medium arms will become heavy, and heavy arms will get even heavier. You can punch through a grab regardless of the arm's weight. Some characters in the game have armor. When they have armor, most attacks will do half damage without making them flinch. However, grabs will always do the full damage and knockdown. Charged fire and wind attacks will also do full damage and knockdown. Charged electric and ice attacks will still do half damage, but will nullify the armor for follow-up hits. Rush attacks will always do full damage and ignore the armor. Breaking Shield or Arms You can actually damage your opponent's arm by punching it while the opponent is not punching with that arm. Damaging the arm will damage their shield, making it easier to break their shield. You can completely disable their arm for a short time if you manage to damage your opponent's arm enough. When an opponent's arm is disabled, they cannot move around freely, do charged punches, grab or rush. Make sure to attack them. General Tips Charge your arms if you can. Making your arms stronger is a good thing. Move around. Dodging attacks is the best form of defense a lot of times. And as you get better, you'll be able to attack and move around at the same time. Don't jump too much. It will make it easier to punish you on landing. Don't grab too much. Did I mention you can punch through grabs? Likewise, if your opponent likes to grab a lot, Punch more often to make it harder for them to grab you. Try all characters, unlock all arms, experiment and find multiple ways to fight. Eventually, you'll find the right character and arms for you. 
try to guess what the opponent is about to do and counter accordingly. Fighting games are a test of the mind as much as reflexes and technical skill. Practice, practice, practice. Don't be afraid to fight people online. There's really no substitute for practicing when it comes to getting good at anything. You will get better as you put yourself out there more. Join an ARMS community. You can get more tips on getting better, make friends, or join events. Motion or Pro Controller? Just choose the one that you have more fun with. You learn more if you have more fun. If this video gets 50 likes, then I'll make more guides, such as an intermediate and advanced guides, or even a guide talking about the differences between certain arms. If you need a guide on the character, check out my character guides. If you guys ask enough, then I'll make more character guides. I also stream arms from time to time. Join in if you feel like it. And for a limited time, the first 10 members on my YouTube channel will get a two hour personalized session with me to help you get better. You can also join my Discord to ask for tips or friends. Link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps in getting you started with the game. See you around stretching your arms.